Hi. I um, decided to make something a little different this time. Uh, this one is, it's still a hardcover book, but it is bound with two rings. Um, I did the uh, raised uh, floral image and it's got some of this gorgeous linen that has been tea stained and also some of this um, seam binding. It's been tea stained. I also put a little bell here. I, it's not a Christmas theme, but I put a bell because I just think it's so cute. So I attached it with this little garment pin and uh, put the bell on it. It has all the little threads hanging. If you don't like the thread look, you can always clip those off. It's got all this fluff and stuff. And here, and here is the back. They're gorgeous. It's, the cover just feels wonderful. So anyway, let's look inside. All right. So here's the inside. So making sure I'm in frame. So I stood up for a second. Um, here's the inside. Here's a pocket that is made with um, some ribbon, some fabric ribbon. And it's got two tags in here. This tag here with some seam binding. And then this library card that I just kind of altered a little bit with more of that linen fabric. So it goes here. Look at this um, just gorgeous cardstock. So it's a nice big sturdy pocket. Nice sturdy pocket. Um, this side here is the cardstock. More of that linen fabric that has been sewn on with some lace. And uh, you could put a picture here or journal on this side of the card. You can do so many things. What I like about the two ring bound style is that it opens flat. You can also remove the pages. If you don't like the particular layout, you could remove them, reorganize. You can take out a page, journal on it on a flat surface, put glue, stick whatever you want on it, alter it however you want and then put the page back in. You can also add your own pages. Um, add a picture, add a postcard, just uh, you know, punch it with a hole punch and you can insert it into your book. And these rings are big, so it still has lots of space to, uh, to build up on it. Um, here's a nice big pocket I sewed all around and put some sequins. I added this book here, so it's a bound book and it's tied off with this um, seam binding. So it's got all kinds of papers in here and it's been sewn right down the middle. I added some eyelets to hold the seam binding in place. So I thought that was really cute. I just tie it up and put it back in here. It's nice and snug in there and then this little ribbon kind of hangs out it's just so cute uh, you can put a photo here you can journal with a different color pen there's so many things that you can do here is a, a journaling paper um, I reinforced it here and sewed all around uh, this weight of paper is a little thicker it's heavier pound paper than the normal copy paper so um, you can probably write with a fountain pen or a marker and it, it shouldn't go through. Um, here is a card stock from Tim Holtz um, card collection. I can't remember what card pad it is, but it's just so pretty. It has all these little um, seamstress kind of things here. So I sewed all around it and here you could put a photo or journal. Here's another little journaling spot with a tag. It has some punched edges and it's been reinforced as well. This one, I put two pages together and sewed them so that it would just give the paper a little more substance. Here's a pocket with some eyelash trim down here and some pretty tapestry fabric since this is uh, paper regarding, you know, seamstress and that kind of stuff. It's from um, Tim Holtz as well. So I just added a cute 
picture. It's a it's a copy of a of a picture of a girl, and it looks like she's showing off her dress. So I thought it was appropriate, and it's got this little um, a clip, Tim Holtz clip. I think these are just so nice. So here's some more spots for journaling or pictures. Here is a Tsunami Rose card that I just kind of sewed around. I put some lace trim up here and backed it so you could journal back here. Um, here's some crinkly tracing paper that I, I put a um, piece of cardstock inside just to kind of give it more substance. But you can write on this tracing paper or draw on it. So I just clipped this on here. Okay, so, so my video had stopped and I'm redoing this. So, okay, this is a um, Tim Holtz uh, relatives card that has been included in here. A really, um, the Edith Holden book page with some seam binding. Here is um, some more paper to journal with um, the edge cut out here. Um, and I love this edge thing. It's um, the Martha Stewart trying to find it oh yeah here it is see so it's so cute it kind of wings out and um, I've had this forever but yeah I just punch it and there you go so I just love that um, here is a another a journaling spot here that's been reinforced and then just sewn around with a cute tag and some seam binding here is, you can journal on this side as well. Here's a nice pocket with some seam binding and a little booklet I made for more journaling or list making. And I tied this um, seam binding here up on top. So that fits in there. Look at that, I love that. That is um, Tim Holtz, of course. Does like the most amazing paper pads. It's um, just love it, love it, love it. Um, ledger paper. Real pretty cardstock here. It's been sewn here into a tuck spot with some trim up here on top. Included this little uh, file folder at Tsunami Rose with the little seam binding and some vintage um, music page and then a little guest check. So that goes in there. Real pretty pink paper that's been tea stained. More Edith Holden with seam binding. Tea stained paper to journal on. Here is a nice pocket made out of that music page. It's been reinforced and has some seam binding. Has another file folder with seam binding here and a coffee stained receipt. So cute. And we got this little girl. It's a vintage um, illustration of a little girl. I just dressed it up and backed it on some cardstock to make it more fancy and um, put some seam binding and it's been sewn so on the back it looks like a frame you could actually journal here or put your own photo just love that here's a nice pocket with um, it's a vintage uh, children's book it's a Daisy poem so I'm thinking her name's going to be Daisy and it's been backed with um, some ledger paper it's all sewn together so it fits in here and here's the rest of that photo uh, from Daisy's. Uh, it's the nursery rhyme classic, so I thought that was just so cute. It's double, um, it's two pages sewn together to make it nice and sturdy with some lace um, trim here on the side. Here's some cute cardstock with some more fabric here, nice fabric ruffle, room to journal, more ledger paper. Here's um, Tim Holtz's uh, little card. I just clipped it on here. Uh, more paper to journal on, um, more paper that's been uh, reinforced and sewn all around. Here's the pretty pink. This has seam binding sewn all the way around with a Tim Holtz die cut. Here is a nice envelope here made out of a book page that talks about stenciling. Um, I'm going to, I'll put something in here, just haven't added anything to this envelope. But there it is. Here's some more journaling paper. Here's another pocket. You can add all kinds of stuff in here. It's nice and big. It expands pretty big. And some seam binding. It's been sewn around with some stamping. Here's some more spots to journal. It's been reinforced, nice and sturdy. And here is the back with um, a little lace pocket. And I included, here's a little card, Tim Holtz card, and um, 
a tea stained uh, tag with some seam binding and it's got this pretty cardstock on the back as well so anyway that is Daisy um, here's the back again like I said this this um, cover will last a lifetime it is sturdy secure and uh, built well um, it's got some rivets here rivets no not rivets eyelets right here so it's been reinforced um, the rings are big let's see what it measures it measures four and three quarters almost five by five and three quarters almost six so um, and the rings are one and three quarter inch rings. I think they say the book or the package says two inch rings, but I don't think that's that's true. Um, oh, and I didn't include, I was going to include this cute little clothes pin. I'm thinking you can see it here. So this clothes pin will go on one of the pages. I think it's just so cute. So anyway, um, here she is. So it will be on my Etsy shop. I appreciate um, you watching. And if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.